Hi, I'm Damon Weaver, and I'm here at the American Airlines Arena, and I'm here to see the Miami Heat play the Oklahoma Thunder. And also, the Miami Heat coach will be having the press conference right about here. Oh, I think it's a big part of uh, the commitment he had this summer, getting himself uh, healthy, getting uh, his legs back and strong, and uh, playing in the Olympics, obviously, but preparing for the season, and he came in in terrific shape. He's as strong as he's ever been. Uh, he appears that he can run all day, even in practice. He, he goes through every single drill. Yesterday was a tough practice. He made it through the whole thing. Now we're in the Miami Heat locker room, and some of the players are getting interviewed by the press. That's Michael Beasley singing in the background. Michael Bizzi was getting interviewed by the press, so I decided to get a little bit of that. Honestly, I, I really don't. I, I feel like I, I still make, make little, little mistakes on the, on the young guys make. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm, I'm progressing as a day, but it's someday that take, takes us back. You know, I really don't feel that, that much rising, but I'm, out, I'm learning a lot. Though. Then I saw my homeboy Dwayne Wade. Then I asked him, "Do he, could he do a little favor for me after the game?" At the end of the day, after the game, do you have time? After the game? Mhm. Mm yeah. What you want to talk about? Um, I want you to do a clip for me. A clip? What kind of clip? Is it, is it easy? Mm, yeah. Uh, what do you after the game? I want you to. Tell Barack Obama where he's gonna be on April the fourth. Where you gonna be? You gonna be in Washington. Well, I'm gonna be. In Washington. I'm be in Washington mm -hmm. on April fourth. Yeah. Okay. Playing the Wizards. Playing the Wizards. What you want me to tell him? Mm, he could play you. On, he could play you in one on one. Yeah. If you agree to let him win. If he agree to give me a one on one live interview. Okay. All right. We do that again. No problem. I gave him the paper with him and I on it and told him I helped him get on the front page of the Palm Beach Post. This is my first time being on the front page. <laughs> I'm taking over, man. Here's the Wayne Wade's locker. Here's his converses. Here's his jersey. The Wayne Wade picked the article about him and I in the locker room. We're done in the locker room. Now we're going to go eat with the press. Right now I'm in the press dining room and I'm eating with all the press and I'm enjoying this delightful food. Then I saw some of the Miami Heat basketball dancers and they were begging me to interview them. Hi, I'm here with Tracy. She's a dancer for the Heat. What do you do for the Heat? Well, this is my eighth season with the Miami Heat, and I'm also the team captain and the assistant choreographer for the Miami Heat dancers. Do you like it? I love it. I love that. I love the experience, and I love all of the girls. How did you get involved with heat dancing? Well, eight years ago, I auditioned for the Miami Heat dancers because I wanted to pursue my, my dream as a dancer, and I wanted to showcase my talent, so I auditioned eight years ago. Hi, I'm here with Ashley and Katie, and they're dancing for the Miami Heat basketball team. How did you get started? Um, well, we tried out in August, and there was four cuts in one day, and then we went to boot camp for a week, and then we had a final cut on the Friday of the last week. How did you get started? Well, about the same process as her, and I've been dancing all my life since I was, you know, a little girl, and just part of the process was trying out for the heat. Do you like it? I love it. It's the best thing I've ever done. How about you? A lot of fun, everyone's great, the dances are great, you get to do what you love. How do you feel about tonight? Um, I feel good, I'm really excited. Um, it's always exciting to do a game. Uh, we get like a little nervous, but as soon as we get out there, we, we get really comfortable, it's a lot of fun. What about you? 
I'm very excited. I really like the dances we're doing. It's a lot of fun to do games, though, so we're always having a good time here. Do you think you're going to do good tonight? I hope so. I mean, sometimes we make mistakes, but we try to cover it up well, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, I, I hope I'll do good too. Sometimes everyone makes mistakes, but we always try to do our best and um, have fun. How does it feel dancing in front of a lot of people? Um, it's the best feeling in the entire world. You, you don't really realize there are a million people watching you. It's kind of just you doing your own thing, but it's definitely the best feeling ever. What about you? I really enjoy it. I like being in front of all the people. It almost gives you more energy when you're dancing because you get to feed off everyone in the audience. So it's a lot of fun. My last and final question. What are you ladies doing after the game? <laughs> We're going to go out. <laughs> um, we usually go out to eat um, afterwards across the street and eat food with some of the girls. What about you? About the same thing. We go have a bite to eat after because we're usually pretty hungry after the game. And then I have to drive home with her to Boca, so we have an hour drive back. Yeah. That's about it. Thank you. <laughs> after I interviewed the dancers, I tried to impress them by showing them I can dunk. It's time for the game, and the Miami Heat players are warming up. Nice and close, and this game is really kicking on. I love this game. I'm having fun. <laughs> 